Hi guys. So today we're looking at a new fake ply that's on the market. Um, I saw these on AliExpress, so about $10 cheaper, roughly, than the normal fake flies. Uh, you can see I already took it out of the packaging. It came in this little bag that my cat is currently chewing on. <laughs> um, what am I saying? Yeah, so I was really interested because some of you might have seen it already. It has a shiny body. So usually when you buy fakes, they'll come with this jointed body. It's a fake version of the Azone body, but the new one looks like a mix of this body and this one over here. And this is a Obitsu body. So I'm really curious to see how the body looks, how it works, and also the doll itself because I can't imagine why they're so much cheaper than the fakes, which are, or the normal fakes, which are already quite cheap. So, let's have a look. I bought the extra pair of hands, like a set, so it costs a little bit more. Here it is. It already looks shiny. Oh, I'm get a little closer look if my camera will focus. Maybe. Yeah. So you can see it already looks kind of shiny, almost translucent. And there's some like color contamination, some black spots there. Which isn't the nicest thing. You can see this hand has some little like freckles. <laughs> That's alright. And here's the doll. So straight out of the box, I can tell her face looks quite different. Not really as cute as normal faces are. Oops, put this aside. She is. So you can see her face looks slightly different from how the fakes usually look. I'll take this off. I would say she looks more like a fake blight <laughs> than your usual fakes. The other ones look like pretty close replicas of blight. And then you can see her body is really shiny. Her body is really light. It feels quite plastic -y. I mean obviously it's plastic but <laughs> okay so here's her body it's all shimmery and she works the same as non blight so here's her full stream let's see what colors she has so this light blue oh I didn't even realize it clicked over um, we skipped ahead to this yellow, it's like a brown sort of colour, blue, and this is like a pinky champagne colour. Okay, her mechanism is really quiet. I don't know how I feel about that. I actually like the loud clicking. So let's see how her body poses. The hands and the overall look is quite similar to the normal fakes, except for the feet actually. I'll do a comparison in a second. So when she was packaged, she was packaged with her knees bent like this. So she sits pretty quite well. And her arms, if I can figure out how to use them. Oh, so she, she can touch her face. Okay, I'm going to zoom in and bring the other bodies over so we can have a better look. Okay, so just a bit zoomed in. <laughs> look at my kitten. She's being so naughty. But anyway, back to the dolls. So, I've got them all in the same pose. It's a bit of an awkward pose, but I think it shows off their flexibility. So this one is the Abitsu body. This is the new NBL shiny body body <laughs> and this is the pure Nemo body which is the one that fakes usually come with. So even though this body aesthetically looks very similar to this one, the way it poses and the whole joint system is pretty much a copy of this one here. So you can see they have like this sort of 
I don't even know what it's called, like a peanut -y sort of thing, not really, but anyway, that's what this one has too, where the Ace one is just like, I don't even know how to describe these joints, but yeah, you can see. <laughs> Um, the feel of all three of them is also quite different. These two feel quite nice. So this one's like a vinyl body. This one, I don't know what kind of plastic it is, but it feels quite soft and smooth. Whereas this one feels like, like cheap plastic. I don't know how else to describe it. It feels very cheap. <laughs> and I think that's why it's so shiny because it's not made with anything high quality. Her body's actually really light, like the doll as a whole is quite light. And I think you can see from her feet, great feeling work, oh my gosh, sorry guys. Her feet is, her feet are really loose and I don't know how to describe it. It just doesn't feel very nice. But I think if you guys want something that poses a bit better than this body, which is the normal fake body that they come with, then this is a good option. It poses really nicely, very similar to this one. If you can get over the shininess, maybe you could sand it down to make it less shiny. I'm not sure, but I think it's nice. I am enjoying playing with it. There are some issues quality-wise, obviously, and I'm not a fan of her face. But if you can get over that, then I think they are a good option. And I love her hair too, and I think, oh my gosh, my cat does as well. Look at her. <laughs> okay guys, I just want to add some extra information before I stop this video. And please excuse my hands, I moisturized before I made this video and now I have total regrets. But anyway, um, this body, the Obutsu body, this one is about 35 40 Australian dollars. Um, this one, the A zone body or the body that you usually get with your fakes. The authentic one is 25 Australian dollars roughly. And I'm pretty sure the fake ones on AliExpress are $25. So I feel like you're better off just buying the authentic one if you are to buy these bodies separately. But now I'm starting to question whether they're really fake. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to get into that. And then this body, which is the new one, the whole doll cost me just over $30 and that was with the extra hands. So if you're happy to just have this normal standard pair of hands, it's like under Australian $30, which is what, US $20, I think. Um, if I can zoom in again. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but like I said before, the quality is definitely not up to either of these ones but if you're okay with that and you don't mind the shininess I think it's a nice alternative especially for its posing abilities although the feet are really flimsy like yeah good luck with these another thing I wanted to show you guys I actually have a standard fake here and just the differences in the faces. Sorry if my mum was calling. <laughs> um, so right off the bat you can see the lips are different. If you guys are familiar with the Blythe face mold terms, this one's lips are more SBR like, so quite smiley, whereas this one is like your normal RBL doll. Also the eyes, this one has much, not much, but slightly smaller eyes and a bit sharper, not as rounded as this girl. So I would say her eyes are almost like FBL like, but definitely sharper than SBL lips. And this is like a standard RBL copy. I just want to add a few things that I've noticed while I'm trying to change her. Um, firstly, her pull string is pink so cute it matches her hair which I think is great especially for photos so kind of camouflages I don't know if the other hair colors will be like this so if you buy a blue haired one I don't know if the strings gonna be blue but anyway it matches for this girl 
um, another thing is there's some staining on her body. I noticed this one before. It's like a white stain just above her belly. But when I turned her over, she has these lot of splotches on her back and some scratches on her thigh, which I don't know if you can see. Um, yeah, the quality is not amazing, but like I said, she was affordable, kind of get what you pay for. The major issue I've had with her is her hands, who drove me insane. <laughs> so, oops, where are they? Here. Yeah. You can see she came with all these hands, but I just I couldn't get any of them to fit in the little hand socket. Obviously, you guys know I showed before, maybe not very well, but some of them are stained. They've got little like doll bruises, <laughs> just a bit of contamination with some something I don't know. It's little black dots everywhere. They just won't fit. Um. Bring her closer. I don't know why. She's got the same system as the normal fakes. So you just pull them out and swap them. But I couldn't get any of these to fit. Even when I gave up. So I wanted this one to be a piece head. And then this one to be something else. None of these would work. And then I tried to go back to her normal default hands. And they wouldn't fit either. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. I'm thinking because the plastic is quite hard it doesn't have much give um it's a bit yeah I don't know it's not really working as well and there's a chunk of cat fur sorry <laughs> so yeah just some something to keep in mind if you do go ahead with purchasing her or if you have purchased her but yeah that's it all right guys thanks for watching bye Suski, what are you doing? <laughs> this is my kitten most of the time before or after I film. Just destroying whatever packaging I have. Oh my gosh, no. Don't eat the doll hair. Oh. Alright, Suski, say bye. Say bye, Suski. Thanks for watching. No, she's not going to listen. Suski! <laughs> Alright, guys, I have to save this doll. Bye. Thanks for watching. Hi, okay, I know I said I was done, but I lied. <laughs> I just opened up her head. It's been a few days later, and I noticed some things I want to show you guys in case you are thinking of purchasing this style of a fake live to customize. Um, I'll start off with her body. It's nothing huge, but she does have a reinforcement piece that'll keep her head nice and steady on her body. So that was a nice thing to find. Um, but back to what the main point is. <laughs> So here's the inside of her head. Um, I think you can see that gooey stuff. Oh, it's better if I put some shadow on it. That is like, it feels like petroleum jelly. And I know what it feels like because <laughs> see that smudge mark? That's from my finger. It's all over her eye mech. And when I opened her up, I don't know if there was like a bit of it on her back plate, but I managed to get it on my fingers. It literally is like petroleum jelly. So I'm thinking maybe it's a lubricant for her eye mechanism to help it run smoothly. But yeah, that's that was there. So just be warned. I wouldn't say it's very safe, as in non-toxic. So if you do get some on your hands, wash it off and be cautious about what you touch. The next thing is this T-bar sort of thing. So if you look at a normal Blythe. This is a fake Blythe, but it's pretty much an exact replica of an, an authentic RBL Blythe. Sorry guys, I'm struggling to talk as per usual. So you can see it's like a plastic T-bar <laughs> and so a little screw. Um, this one is quite different. First off, it's made with this same plastic that they use for the actual doll and it's not really just a small little piece. So I've already unscrewed it. This was not like that. I did that. <laughs> and if I take it off somehow, oh, oh my gosh, I'm getting that goo stuff everywhere. So if I take it off, you can see it's like this little block. It just kind of fits. Oh, you can see the goo everywhere. It kind of just slides in there and you just screw it on. 
So that's really interesting. Um, I think that might be part of the reason why you're sorry, this is that stuff everywhere. I think that might be part of the reason why it runs so smoothly, maybe it's meant to do with angle of that as well as the petroleum jelly stuff, but that is interesting. Just be wary that if you do cut too much off to fix her gaze, it might be harder for you to find a replacement. Although I think if you did put that on here, it would work about the same. So you might be alright actually now that I think of it. <laughs> but anyway, moving on. The second thing is the actual like little mechanism curve bit. Oh, that's very gooey. It's a bit harder to move around and you can see how thick it is. Oh my gosh, this stuff is everywhere and my hands are all sticky. Um, whereas you see on the standard sort of live, it's a thin piece of plastic and it's very loose. Whereas this one's a bit more, much more stiff. So that's interesting as well. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to comment on it. <laughs> I'm not an expert with customizing. So I'm just adding in things that I notice. Um, another thing that I'm sure you guys can see is the difference in the whites of the eyes. So standard Sakara Blythe has very bright whites, whereas this one seems to have a more yellowed aged look. I actually think I prefer this look better. It looks a bit more natural. Oops, my spoon just fell out. But um, if you prefer the bright whites, this might be something that annoys you. I don't know if you could clear sorry clean that up but that's what it is next thing that i noticed is the sculpt and dome zoom out a little bit so this is the one that came on the fake that we just opened you can see she has these huge flaps flangey bits um i'll just grab this one is like a standard takara style one so you can see it's an obvious dome sculpt sort of thing whereas this one has I have no idea what this is and it's kind of screwed on there so I haven't unscrewed it yet but yeah it's just interesting so I don't know how you'll go with swapping their hair especially because you can see this one the way it works is that this little bit this little bit fits around here and then you screw it on so the screw goes here and that's how it stays on the head um, this one is just kind of placed in there. <laughs> you can see there's not really any sort of system to it. There's just like, you know, that fits there and off you go. So when you open her head, her scalp and dome will just fall straight out like that. So that's another interesting thing to note. Um, can't really comment on anything else. I would just say that if you do purchase this customised, Buy one with the hair colour that you already like so you don't have to try struggle with figuring these two out and just be wary of that petroleum jelly gooey stuff that's all over the place because it's not nice and it scares me because I have no idea what it is. But that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!